putting Paul aside, I think Lowry is the best player at the position that is available this offseason. Now, he's obviously 35 years old. He is not going to be the point guard of the future. And I don't think any of us think that the Knicks are going to win the championship, you know, this season. Right. Um, but I don't know. I kind of, the more I, I think about this sport and watch it and, and pay attention to moves, I'm, the more I'm like, just make the next move. And as long as the next move doesn't box you out of making other moves, yeah. if it's if it's a good move, if you're adding a, a player that's go, just going to make you better, like I'm not saying he's going to have the same effect on us that that Paul had on on the Suns, and I don't think we have that level of core either. But just you know, if you could get him for two years and it's like two years, fifty million dollars, is it like? I would like to see that team. I would. I would. I would enjoy yeah. watching that team. I would enjoy rooting for that team. Yeah, I was reading somewhere. I think it was the Athletics saying he could command up to thirty a year. I said, Yo, that's crazy, man. I, <laughs> for Lowry, bro, I, I don't know, man. Like, like you said, he's a leader. He's a dog. Yeah. Definition yeah. of a dog in, in his heyday, yeah. no doubt about it. I think he can help this team. Off ball, gritty defender. He'll get us going. Seven dimes last year. He was, he was pretty good. But man. damn, thirty million. That, the thing I always go back to, we we hope because we, I, if you had said this about Steve Mills, you would have been very wrong. You would think with Wes and Rose right up there, um, with the connections they have throughout the league, they're gonna know better than us about okay, if I spend X amount of money for this many years, will I be able to get out of it? Will it come back to bite me in the in the rear end? Am I you know screwing myself out of whatever other thing might be available next summer. Like I'm sure they, my guess, my guess, my hope is that they would not put themselves in that position and that they know more than we do as to how dangerous something like that is. You know, when when you think about just having that guy, having that lead on the floor and just having that guy that can consistently take the pressure off of Randall, because I thought, I thought it was too immense for him in the playoffs. Hopefully that doesn't carry over into the regular season. Rose was that guy it's his health just couldn't, you know, he just didn't have the stamina to be yeah. that guy on a consistent basis, which is why he's not our starter. Nope. Now, no, Lowry no shame at in that. that. No right, shame. no shame in that. Now, Lowry at 35, can he be that guy? I, I think that that's the, that's the question. But there's no doubt yeah. he can help and, and elevate these young guys. Yeah. Um, and I think uh, it's, it's going to be a matter of what does Kyle Lowry want? Because if Kyle Lowry wants to compete for a championship right away, probably not coming to the Knicks. If he wants to just stay comfortable, probably not coming to the Knicks. But then again, and we still don't know for sure where is where the Raptors playing next yeah, year. I wonder yeah. also how that factors in. True. True. So and who they pick it for? What do they go it for? Well, that yeah, lots you know, lots of lots of balls in the air. Lots of questions. Let's go to Philly Angels in the building. Angel, how you doing? I really want to see us stay young at the point guard, man. You know, I don't want to use a lot of money and, you know, burn our caps for, for like, the long-term future because, you know, next year free agency, man, we got to be right in that thing. The first thing we got to do is bring back Rose, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, Burks. We got to bring back those two players because you want to keep the team together, you know. And um, besides our free agents, you know, when it comes to trade, um, I'm actually with you, man. I like Brogdon. Um, I think that'll really, really, you know, be a good pickup. You know, he's a he's a baller, man. He really plays hard, and I think he's really a good shooter, you know. And uh, that's that's something that we definitely need. But whoever's gonna start at this point guard position, they gotta make some layups, man. They gotta hit some free throws <laughs> because that just killed us, you know. And yeah. um, I personally would like Brunson better um, because he's younger. And, uh, you know, he's cheaper as well. So I will go Brunton first and then Brogdon. Um, but if you're not going to trade for anybody because you don't want to give up too much, just stay patient, man. You know, I would use the draft, maybe trade up the gate trade, man. I'm a big fan of him. And, um, you know, let Derrick Rose tutor those young guys and uh, just be patient, man. And I think IQ, if he steps his defense up, you know, maybe we might not need a, a, a you know, a future point guard when we can just give him the, the, the ball. Maybe then. Vildoza could step his game up. You know, we don't know what he's going to bring to the table. So I just don't want to, you know, I don't want to hear about no superstars right now because, you know, you got to want to come here, man. I'm not paying attention to any rumors. You know, um, obviously, if you know something behind the the doors, you know, then you make that move. This 
season right here is going to be really important because if we make the playoffs next year, then, you know, when it comes to free agency, then you're going to have those superstar players who are free agents to say, hey, you know what, the Knicks built, they got a great culture, they play defense, they play hard, Mm -hmm. and they don't need the trade to make any moves. They already got a young team. So let's just stay patient, man, and, you know, we'll just see how it goes, man. 